Sigma. My next guest had the opposite career path, and it's now her and her husband's mission to inspire others to live what they refer to as a, quote, pure lifestyle. My name is Brittany Delamora. I was in the porn industry for seven years of my life, but God got a hold of my heart. He radically transformed me, and I'm believing that he is gonna do the same for you. My husband, Richard, and I, we met at church, and we now help men and women uh, leave the sex industry behind as well. Hey guys, welcome to the search course, as we are going to help you to get set free from porn. We have a nonprofit organization called Love alwaysministries.com. It's our mission to bridge a gap for sex workers who want to leave the business. Children are our biggest concern. I'm really concerned about the implications of the children seeing their teachers on these platforms. I believe teachers have moral obligations to their students. Richard and I have two daughters. We are choosing to homeschool our children. We are already having age-appropriate conversations. It's so imperative to have these conversations with our daughter so she can be raised right. We want to bring awareness to this to help children and the teachers. Well, joining us are Brittany and Richard, advocates against pornography and adult subscription platforms, authors of A Call to Purity, Living a Lifestyle of Purity, and founders of Love Always Ministries. So you're the reverse. Yeah, of we're this. reversed. <laughs> You've been in it and are now out of it. Yeah. And I'm curious, what do you think about what's being said? Because they're describing this as actualization and empowerment and freedom. Yeah. Is so, this empowering? I mean, I thought the same thing when I first got into the industry. A lot of brokenness in the business. Um, and so, no, I don't agree. What do you say about this? I mean, you look at it from a male perspective. Is, is this imp Does this look empowering to you? From the beginning, it looks like it's empowering. You know, you get the affirmation, the money, the, the acceptance. But then later on in life, life happens. So what do you do when your acceptance now is based on someone saying you're beautiful, subscriptions, what happens if that all goes to waste and you have to be by yourself? And you're concerned that your children could see their teachers in more intimate settings than they yeah. Yeah, definitely. would be comfortable for them to see. Yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, in our household, we want to, um, and our, our standard is in our religious background, we want to make sure that our daughter is walking in biblical standards and biblical ways. And I want her to know that, you know, she doesn't need to be naked. She doesn't need to do X, Y, and Z in order to be accepted or loved. I feel for the teachers who are posting on these subscription-based sites because they could look back and potentially one day regret posting on them. Oftentimes the reason why people jump on these platforms is because financial hardship and they're looking to be accepted, affirmed, and approved. Because of the moral obligations as a teacher, I do believe firing the teacher was the right thing to do. Well, we're back talking to teachers about the untraditional ways they make money and how they're trying to normalize the conversation about sex work. Hey family, my name is Richard. And I'm Brittany. And we are the founders of lovealwaysministries.com. And we wanna say thank you so much for tuning into this channel. And if you guys could, could you make sure to subscribe to this channel so you can stay updated with everything that's going on right here on this channel. And if you'd like to partner with our ministry, you can do so by heading over to lovealwaysministries.com slash donate to make a donation today. Um, or you can give by snail mail. Just look for the website at the bottom of every page on our website. Um, and if you haven't checked out our book, A Call to Purity, what are you waiting for? It is available on Amazon or on our website. Make sure that you pick yourself up a copy today. It is changing lives all over the world. We love you guys. We can't do what we do without you. So thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. And thank you for tuning into our channel. We love you guys so much. And we pray God's blessings over you.